It's Time4G from the 4GV channel and today I'm showing you how to add skills or uh, add levels to your characters so like if you have the main character it's like level 1 if you just started and you want to change the level and give him all of these skills right here I'm gonna show you on this video how to do it and if you don't know how to spawn new characters you can watch my previous video well, uh, well, where I show you how to do it how to open the console and just paste everything in so yeah after you post it in your new character it should not have any skill points uh, skill points or uh, any powers so I'm gonna show you how to add powers to, to it and first thing you want to do is just name him something you will remember so I'm gonna name this one forge a fit so my, I'm gonna copy the, the, the things from Snipe Forge to Forge a Vid. Okay? Like I'm gonna copy all of the skills and all of this as well on the left corner. Because I really don't know how to change these ones yet. So, yeah, guys. After you have the names that you want, just save the game. Say one ch change. There you go. There you go. And just quit the game brings you to the main menu. So after all of this, just open a new a new folder I guess. Go to your to the address bar and put percentage app data percentage uh, like I did right here. Press enter. Go back to app data. Go to local low. Go to mass uh, DMG L Elcyon 6 and find uh, your save. Mine is right here. Never mind the different names here, the weird names. I don't really bother naming them anything interesting. So after you have them, you want to open it first with WordPad. But we, we're going to be using Notepad. But I'm going to actually show you why we open with WordPad first. So when you open with the not Notepad, it's going to... Oh, this one is actually fixed. Hold on. Oh, this is the wrong one. Okay, what did we call the new one? Hold on, guys. I forgot what I named this shit. Save one changes. Ah, come on. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> Saved one change. I messed up. Saved one change. Right here. So... When you open this with the notepad first, this is what happens. It's all, it's a mess. You cannot understand anything. So, the thing you want to do is open with the wordpad. There you go. And save it once. So it will save the configuration uh, like we just saw it. And then open it again with the notepad. And as you can see here, it's perfect now. We can understand it. It's simple. It's good. After that, go to edit and go to find or just do the shortcut. It's control F. And then type the name of your main character. In my case is Snipe Forge. So after you find Snipe Forge or whatever you named yours, just go down until you find XP. And here you can change the level. So I'm gonna put 90,000 on mine. I'm not sure what level this will give me, but it will be more than you need. So you don't mind that. You can change the health. I'm not sure if this will change in game anything or not. But yeah. After that, go to find ideas right here. And just start copying from my. Oh, wait. Actually, before you copy ideas, this your, is your skills. And right here, where it says epic and false, it means the skill is not epic. And where it says acquired and false means you haven't, you don't have the, um, the skill yet. So what you're gonna do is copy true and change every single false to true in here. So I just acquired all of these ones and I'm turning all of them into epic powers. Um, I'm guessing when you put them all on Epic, it just gives you like more power or more damage in the game. Hold on, I put an F there. 
So yeah, just change all of them. This might take you a little time, but it's worth it, I guess. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, this is taking a while. Just fast forward a bit. If, uh, this part might take a few more, like a minute more. Just changing all the falses to true. Especially because I'm, I'm a bit annoyed because I was filming this and I was not recording the the desktop, so it was just recording the game with me talking and yeah, that that just pissed me off. It was my fault, but yeah. So after you change all the false ones to to true, change these ones as well. I'm guessing these ones are the ground powers, but X, whatever. There you go. After you change all of the things you want, just go here to where it says IDs and start copying from IDs down to skill points. Just copy or control C to copy, then control F and search the name from the name of the character you don't have skills yet, the one you spawned. <coughs> Sorry. In my case, the name is Forge a vid. There you go. Scroll down. And you can change here the XP as well if you want. You can change the XP on all of your characters, you just need to search them. Then go to IDs right here. And as you can see it, it's compared to the other one, it's extremely small. Like there there's no powers at all in here. So select IDs until skill points. And just press Ctrl V to paste what you copied, and there you go. That's pretty much it. So, one thing, when you actually spawn your character, please remember the name. Like, in my case, the name is Tech Edisa Kim. So, yeah, copy that, and come here where, to where it says the name of the original one. For mine, it's Tech Carbon Lao. So I'm just going to change all the carbon laws to Adisa Kim. There should only be like three or four. Yep, that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, after you change that, just save it. And go back to the game. Load your say one change or whatever you named it. And when you go to the game, as you can see here, level 15, both of them. When you click on them, all the powers are acquired and they are on Epic. For some reason, these two are not. Okay, I'm not sure why. Hold on, guys. So, all you want to do here is just go to skill points and add two. And search for your main one as well. Okay, this is pissing me off now. Why is it not finding Snifeforge? Okay, hold on. His name is Snifeforge, right? Yes, knife forge, so... Hmm, huh, this is a bit weird. Okay, let me just reopen it. I'm sorry about this part, guys. Okay, what the fuck? There you go, it, it found Forge a bit, but it doesn't want to find Snifeforge for some reason. I'm sure it's just a mistake. Aldani, she should be around here somewhere. It's not this one. Okay, this is very, very weird. Snifeforge. Okay, fuck it, guys. Uh, it should not happen that to you, but whatever. 
So, after, after that, if you have a problem like this, you just add two skill points and you can just buy them. And for the new one, the new character, when you click on him, you should have all the same skill points, the same skills over here on the left, the same level, and all of the same powers here on Epic. So yeah guys, that's how you add powers to your new spawned officers. I hope this helps. Sorry for the bits where I screwed up. Like I said, it was the second time I did this and I, I'm still annoyed that I, I didn't record the desktop the first time. So yeah, that, that's why this one is a bit more messed up. So I hope this helps you. I hope you like it. If you do, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.